Hi guys, in today's video, we will talk about the radio frame structure for the FTD and TDD variants of 4G LTE. Now I know this topic can be a bit dry, and if you're not a telecom professional or a student, this video might actually help you go to sleep. Either way, whether you watch this video as a student or sleeper, it's totally fine by me. At the end of this video, if you're not asleep, of course, you will have a simplified view of the FTD and TDD radio frames. As an internet user, you may already know that oftentimes you download more than you upload. For example, when you're watching a movie on Netflix or watching something on YouTube like uh, this video right now, you're downloading stuff. That is where the downlink part of the communication gets used. Of course, there are situations when you upload more too. For example, if you're watching a game in a football stadium, many people there are likely to upload their selfies and other uh, pictures, etc. on the internet, which of course requires uplink part of the communication for uploads. So downlink for downloads and uplink for uploads. So that was a user view. Now let's look at things from a business perspective. As a mobile network operator or carrier, for example, companies like uh, Vodafone, EE, O2, and 3 in the UK, and companies like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, etc. in the US, you purchase licensed frequency spectrum from regulatory authorities like Ofcom or FCC. The frequency spectrum is not cheap. It's not cheap at all. And uh, we are talking uh, billions of dollars here. So, of course, as a mobile operator, you want to make sure that you're using it wisely. You're not wasting it, right? Now, the thing is that the two ways in which 4G LTE can be implemented, you can either do FDD or TDD. FDD divides the frequency spectrum into two and uses half for downlink for downloads and half for uplink for uploads. Now, as we just discussed a bit earlier, oftentimes, you download more than you upload. So it doesn't really feel right, does it, to allocate half of the frequency spectrum to downlink and half to uplink. Shouldn't we use more for downlink? Because people download more, right? This is where TDD can become very useful. Because with TDD, you can dynamically assign the frequency spectrum to either uplink or downlink. Since LTE uses OFDM, or Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing, the radio network relies on both the frequency channel and the individual time slots within that channel. So the smallest component is the time slot, which is where FTD and TDD differ when it comes to radio frames. In this picture, at the top we have FTD, and at the bottom we have TDD. In 4G LTE, both in FTD and TDD, the transmissions are sent in radio frames of 10 milliseconds. Now, if you look at the picture, and I don't want you to read anything in the picture yet, just look at the subframe naming here, where the first subframe is called subframe 0, and the last one is subframe 9, so a total of 10 subframes, right? All right. Now, if you look at the top one, which is FDD, you will see a white line that divides each subframe into two. Since each subframe has a duration of one millisecond, when you divide it by two, it is 0 0.5 milliseconds for each time slot. Half of the subframes here are used for uplink and half for downlink, so that's FDD. Let's now look at the bottom picture. In TDD, each radio frame consists of two half frames and each half frame consists of five subframes. Look at the picture now, the picture at the bottom. You will see half of the subframes are in blue color and half in green. So ignore the yellow ones for now. The subframes can either be uplink or downlink or special subframes. So in TDD, you're not allocating half to uplink and half to downlink. You're just saying they can be used for either one, depending on the need. Now in the picture, if you look at the yellow ones, these are special subframes, and they are used when switching from downlink transmission to uplink transmission. Special subframes include downlink pilot time slot, DWPDS, 
uplink pilot time slot UPPDS and guard period GP. So just to be clear, this GP is not general physician or something, not your doctor. This is a guard period. And what is a guard period? Guard period is an equivalent of guard band, which basically means a way to separate downlink resources from uplink resources. In FDD, you have a guard band, which basically means that you have a certain frequency, a special amount of frequency, which is between the downlink frequency and uplink frequency. And similarly, in TDD, you have a guard period, which means an allocated amount of time that sits between downlink and uplink communication. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic, and the link is in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.